a book with some cats in it, as usual. A book where the rising tension literally clenches at your heart. A book that I love and everybody should enjoy. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today, I have this awesome, epic Warriors book for you guys today. Warriors Book 5, A Dangerous Path by Aaron Hunter herself slash himself because Aaron has multiple people. And, well, let's get right on to it. So, this book is about Fireheart struggling as a deputy. He is really young, but he's second in command in the clan, and since Blue Star's a little bit cuckoo after Tiger Star's betrayal, well, he basically has to do everything. Then, Blue Star goes even crazier. She doesn't trust anyone except her most senior warriors and Fireheart. Since she doesn't she just doesn't trust the apprentices, and says that only Cloudtail, I mean Cloudpaw, who was trained by Fireheart, her trusted deputy, could be the the actual, could be a warrior. And that's ridiculous. And because of that, after Cloudpaw got the name Cloudtail, and became a full-fledged warrior, Swiftpaw and Brightpaw decided they're gonna go crazy, and they decided they we're gonna go and try to find what was threatening the clan. And then Swiftpaw died, and Brightheart came back, and in shock, she kept saying and repeating these things, pack, pack, kill, kill, which is ominous enough. And meanwhile, Cinderpar Cinderpelt has been getting warnings from Star Clan, so that can't be good either. Then, Whitestorm, Fireheart's senior warrior, and Fireheart finds out what really was happening to the clan. Tiger Star had been catching rabbits and putting their blood and leading a trail of blood of rabbits of prey into the Thunder Clan camp. And at Snake Rocks, dogs, enormous dogs, savage, almost wolfish dogs, hungry for cat blood. Tiger Star in his craze, killed Brindle, Brindle face, Brindle fur, I, sorry, Brindle face, I don't know, okay, it's, there's a lot of names in this book, okay, it's not my fault, anyway, basically, she killed a cat in order to lay the trail for the dogs to destroy Thunderclan, but Fireheart won't let that happen, she first evacuates the clan to Sunning Rocks, then, he takes his senior warriors and his best runners to lure the dogs into the Wind Clan go I mean, to the gorge that is at the Thunder Clan border with River Clan. Therefore, they could drown the dogs, and they didn't have to fight the dogs directly. And the plan was going well when they actually did it. In fact, it, the, most of the dogs were killed, but the pack leader was coming, and Tiger Star pinned Fireheart down just long enough so the dog could catch up and kill Fire's heart. And he was, he thought that he was dead. Until, of course, Blue Star came along. Blue Star, restored with her courage and her faith towards her clan, charged at the dog and ripped him off and, and hurled herself and the dog into the gorge. Fireheart jumped in after Blue Star and barely kept her alive until they reached the shore. And two River Clan cats, Mistyfoot and Stonefur, rescued them together. And then Blue Star, there, here and there, reveals that she is the mother of Mistyfoot and Stormfur, and that she is very, very sorry that she hadn't revealed that. And she said that she was really proud of the, her kids. And meanwhile, Blue Star also said to Fireheart that Spot the Leaf was right, and that Fireheart was the fire that will save the clan. And that he would make a great leader, Fire Star. And we would remember that to the series that will come after the first ever Warrior series. Well, that's pretty much it for the actual summary of the book. So, basically, uh, what I want to compliment and review about this book the build up was super intense. At first, it's like apprentices are killed and maimed, something is wrong. Meanwhile, no, she, Fireheart can't depend on anyone because Blue Star is totally crazy and she has to do things and 
he has to take charge, and he isn't really used to that. He's young. He barely became a warrior, after all. And also, the foreshadowing in this book is excellent. In the prologue, the, there is a little foreshadowing about the dogs, about the bloodthirsty dogs saying, pack, pack, kill, kill, and then moving in into a cave in Snake Rocks. That is excellent foreshadowing and gives us a small idea of what we might need to do and what might happen in this book. And there's a good bit about leadership and how some people may struggle with leadership, but with the help of wise friends and people a little bit older than you, you will be able to do it and you will get used to it. So that's another thing that the book teaches. And of course, finally in this book, Sandstorm and Fireheart become mates and they finally date. Yep, finally. Jesus Christ, they've been waiting for number one, Fireheart to become Firestar. Number two, for Fireheart and Sandstorm start showing affection to each other instead of downright hate or normal friendship. And yeah, that is pretty much the bug. I really, really enjoyed that. And obviously, because it's a Warriors book, it is one of my favorite, bu favorite books in the world. You definitely should read it. You haven't read a fantasy like this with the cats, sentient cats, as the main character. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the Book Quester, have a great day, read a book. It would be a good thing if it was a Warriors book.